Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have an unboxing. Before I get really into this, I am going to put up a disclaimer. Um, this will contain spoiler alerts. If you are not interested in seeing anything about the Ivy Dolamore fantasy mystery canvas from Diamond Art Club, uh, thank you so much for hopping in, um, and I'll see you in my next one. If you do want to see it, hang in. I'm going to show you guys. Um, but please... Do not come for me. If this is spoiling anything for you, please watch at your own discretion. So, hi. If you guys are new here, I'm Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting and other crafting related content. I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that fun stuff. Hop aboard the Hot Mess Express. Let's all be friends. Uh, if you've been here before, hi. Welcome. So, I have never done a Diamond Art Club mystery kit. I did a mystery kit from some inexpensive company I want to say the first year that I diamond painted uh I knew what it was by the colors of it it was a flower it was a rose I believe if I still have that saved I'll put that up on the screen but I saw this saw it saw it and as soon as I saw that it was Ivy Dolamore as the artist I had to have it uh if you guys have not seen my post review for Warm Witch I will link that one up in the eye for you I adore Ivy's artwork. Uh, I like their style. I like what they draw. I'm really here for it. So without further ado, I'm going to get into this. This is a square diamond kit. We know because it's blue. It's in the shape of a square and it says square. So this is the mystery kit by Ivy Dolamore. This will be a 51 by 79. Oh, it's a little bit bigger. Um, in my sweet-ish spot. So let's get into it. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Um... I really wanted to get this one done before it gets ruined by other people for me. <laughs> Let's make sure the box is empty. So, we have the sticker. That is just a question mark. Um, ooh, I have never seen this because I haven't purchased one. Thank you for purchasing one of our mystery kits. Seeing a blank mystery canvas come to life is fun and unique experience, and we're confident you'll enjoy. We only print a number, a limited number of each design during a single production, and won't restock mysteries that sell out. Therefore, you'll be working on a collector's piece. Um, one thing I will say, this says, as a reminder, to help preserve the elements of surprise, we sincerely appreciate if you do not post any spoilers of the photos of the mystery kits on our Diamond Art Club VIP Facebook group. Um, however, you are more than welcome to post on your own social media. I would like to point out real quick before I get super far into this. If you are seeing somebody posting the mystery kit on Instagram. And they have, you know, a square that says mystery kit and the question mark. And you scroll. If it has multiple photos, it will keep coming back into your feed if you don't like it. I'm not saying this because I'm asking for likes or that other people are asking for likes. But I am saying that if you are somebody who is posting the, the question mark as your cover photo, for example, and then your second photo is of your progress of a mystery photo, people who don't like it will see it second time around because it scrolls to the next photo. So um, keep that in mind if you have no interest in being spoiled, but it's coming up in your feed, just like it so it, it tells the algorithm, I saw this, let's move on, even if you didn't look. It looks like I got one of these new recyclable and reusable toolkits. Um, this is my first new toolkit. This is a bag of baggies. Oh, we got an orange one. All right, let's see. So I got sharp tweezers that say Diamond Art Club on them. Um, cute. Okay, so I got an orange. The, f the reflection is really hard. Uh, it's like a gold foiled floral. Then I got the orange pen with the orange squishy. I don't know why I'm wasting time doing that. And then this is a blue, like, chunky glitter cover minder. The pats of wax are now in these cute little containers. I like that. Um, and then I have one of the new shimmery trays with the stopper. That's what this one is. And then these are two placers. It is a four and, are you a seven? A seven. Um, I have, ooh, these are much thicker than I was expecting. 
I have yet to see one of the toolkits in person, so I'm very excited. So that's what that'll be like. Oh, um, but I will say, if you're one of those people who have been very upset because you have yet to get a toolkit, Diamond Art Club, until they are fully released in every toolkit, just puts them in at random right now. So it's nothing personal. You'll get one eventually. Um, I know there are people out there who have gotten very upset because they've purchased many kits and have yet to get one. So just putting that little disclaimer out there. So this comes in your Diamond Art Club Do What Makes You Sparkle dust bag. I am very excited for this. Uh, there we go. Whoa. Okay. So let's get rid of that. My kiddo is uh, very excited. You can hear her in the background. She should be sleeping. So it comes with your sticker sheet, just like all the other ones do. Again, just gives you the blank here. Tells you you can put your start date and end date if you'd like. Um, and then again, the square is 51 by 79. This comes with 52 colors, including one, two, three. ABs, and I know that those are ABs because they are um, under 150. So, one, two, and three. Uh, let's see. Look at this, you guys. Okay, I gotta say, um, kudos, Diamond Art Club. One is one, two is two, three is three, four is four, five is five. Then you go down. Eight and nine are also eight and nine. I love that. That's actually one of my biggest pet peeves when companies don't do that. Um, here is one of the new updated uh, how to diamond paint manuals. I couldn't think of the word. Whew. Um, and this is just a new up to date. And then there is a coupon code. Listen, Diamond Art Club never wants you to pay full price. They never want you to pay. They want you to pay. They just don't want you to pay full price. Um, yeah, let's look at the canvas. So, if you have never seen a mystery canvas, the canvas is going to be completely black and white. Uh, for some people, that may pose a little bit of frustration. For other people, it's really just symbol recognition and moving from there. I am rolling the canvas backwards off camera so that I have room. Okay. Woo. Well, I can definitely see the outline of a person. So I can see, like, there's a person here. Um, I have no idea what the image is. I'm very excited about that. I am very excited that it does not tell me the name of the image so that I am not going to accidentally go and um, figure out what it is. I'm sure other people have figured it out by now. But um, the symbol clarity on this is clear as day. Uh, lots of color blocking. Ooh, I'm very excited. Ooh. So I don't know what they're holding, but it looks like they're holding something in their hand here. Um, I'm very excited, you guys. I love like the cottage core witchy vibe that Ivy does a lot of the characters in, but they also have um, some more bright, fun kind of characters. So I'm very excited to see how this works out. This looks like this is going to be a window here. Ah, you guys, I'm so excited. Let's check out the drills. Um, this shouldn't be too long of an unboxing because, you know, there's not a whole lot of color to show you other than the drills. Um, try to go through these quickly. Whew. If you did not know, Diamond Art Club puts the number on the bag that is also, usually has the name of the kit, although it just says Mystery Fantasy. Um, and this is also on your canvas, so you can store your drills separately if you choose to. There is a lot of 939. Holy moly. Okay. So, I'm not going to go through them too, too much, but we've got two 823s, and then one, two, three, four, four of the 939. 939 is a dark blue. There's a lot of blues, and then we got some tans and browns. Oh, look at that. That's an interesting color. Okay, so here's 112. This is one of our ABs. Um, this is like a, almost like a taupe. 
I would say. Uh, if you don't know what an AB drill is, it stands for Aurora Borealis. You guys see that? It's, it has these extra special coating on it, and it is just catching the light here like crazy. It will, you can see it's like disco balling on my finger now there. It will reflect the color of the drills next to it. It'll make everything look brighter. Sorry, my kiddo is making like weird moaning sounds in the background. And I was trying to figure out if they were just my kid being a weirdo or my kid being in distress. But it sounds like weirdo mode. So, um, lots of like neutral tones. This palette is very, oh my god. Look at how much 141 there is. Uh, 141 is Diamond Art Club's favorite AB. It is an AB version of 5200, which is white. But there are two jam-packed bags here. We got grays. Now we're going back into, like, skin tones and the gray, um, green palette. Some salmon-y colors, some orange, some green. And then this is the one that has a little bit of variety. A little bit, you know? Let's see. Let's see all these colors. Uh, if you did not know, Diamond Art Club, bright green is really pretty, does not do their drills in order of DMC in the chains. Here's one of the other ABs, or the last AB, I guess. Uh, this is a bright green, very, like, grassy color. Um, <coughs> excuse me. They do theirs in size order. So if you are kidding up in Elizabeth Ward containers, for example, where you have small, medium, large, extra large containers. These little ones, you know, whoop, there goes the monitor, um, you know will fit into a small one. And then there is the chartreuse. So I don't really have that much more because it is a mystery. Um, I can't really... Showing you where the ABs are in the canvas won't really do much because... We don't know what the image itself is, but let's check the sticky just for nice and sticky. Um, the symbol clarity looks gorgeous. The canvas itself, the drill field is nice and sparkly. I'm excited. I'm actually going to um, start this one right away. So I hope that you guys um, do enjoy it. When I decide to do this on Whip and Chats, I will do my best to just keep zoomed in in the area that I'm working or uh, I'll do something else. Let me know what you guys are thinking about that. I put up a poll on Instagram and one person out of the 40 something people that voted said it was not acceptable to do a mystery painting for a whip and chat. But everyone else was like, yeah, most people aren't watching your whip and chats to see what you're working on in depth. But if that is something that um, sways you one way or another, or you have thoughts on it, please let me know down below. Uh, if you have done a mystery painting of any sort, whether it be Diamond Art Club or not, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on them. But that's it. That's all I got for you guys for this one. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, I hope that you viewed this at your own discretion. I don't think I really gave all that much away. Uh, but I'm excited and, um, I will get out of here. I will talk to you guys later. If you guys like this content, I want to see more like this or, you know, nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come join the Sparkle Squad. While you're there, hit that notification bell. Hey. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time and I record on my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.